We've now grown accustomed to the work from home lifestyle, but for many of us, our home setup is just not cutting it. For work, it's important to have a monitor with a high resolution and large size. And while we may have these luxuries at the office, being stuck on your old PC monitor from five years ago is just not great for your productivity. Today, we'll be going over our best picks for home and office monitors that'll help keep you at the top of your game. Hi, I'm Brandon, a test developer at Ratings.com, where we help you find the best products for your needs. Make sure you subscribe to our channel for the latest videos or check out our website for the full article. In this episode, we'll be breaking down our best home office monitors into four main categories. Our best overall office monitor, our best ultra ride for work, our best monitor for media creation and gaming, and our best budget office monitor. We'll also take a look at a few noticeable mentions as well. Keep in mind we choose these monitors based off models we've bought and tested, and we also factor in price, availability, and feedback from the community. If there's a great office monitor that you recommend and didn't make this list, be sure to let us know in the comments. Let's begin. Starting with our best overall office monitor, it has to go to the Dell S2721 QS. It has all the workings of a great office monitor. It features a 4K resolution and a screen size of 27 inches. So there will be plenty of space to move and place windows for maximum productivity. The 4K resolution also means text is very clear and easy to read, as you can see from our macro shot. For office monitors, it's important to have great ergonomics to help reduce strain and discomfort over prolonged use. The Dell does great in this regard, offering a wide array of adjustments for height, tilt, swivel, and portrait use. The stand also features a quick release if you want to vase mount it. The Dell also gets plenty bright and handles reflections well, which is great if you work in a bright office or if you get a lot of sunlight in your home. Although if you use it in the dark, it won't be the best choice for watching movies because of the pretty standard contrast ratio. This is to be expected because like all monitors on this list, the Dell is using an IPS panel, which are known to have mediocre contrast. But the main benefit of IPS is their great viewing angles, and the Dell is no exception. This is great for media professionals who need the image to remain accurate near the edges of the display, or for those who often share their monitor with their coworkers. Out of the box, it has adequate color accuracy and only really covers the sRGB gamut, but neither of these should be deal breakers for most people. If you want to do some 4K gaming on the side, you'll have an enjoyable experience thanks to the variable refresh rate and low input lag. Just don't expect too much out of a 60Hz panel. Keep in mind you'll have to use DisplayPort to get the most out of it, as the HDMI connection doesn't support VRR. Speaking of, the port selection is a little limited, but should offer most of what people need, being one display port, two HDMIs, and an audio out. For an office monitor, it would be nice to see USB-C or USB hub, but that usually comes at a higher price. This monitor does feature picture in picture or picture by picture mode, which is really nice on a 4K display. Overall, the Dell S2721QS is a great pick for those who want a well-balanced office monitor. If you're looking for the ultimate in productivity, then there's nothing quite like an ultra-wide display. Ultra-wides offer a ton of screen real estate for power users who need a lot of windows open at once. One of our best ultra-wides for work is the LG 34GN850-B. This display has a 21 by 9 aspect ratio, which is about 30% wider than a traditional monitor. It's also slightly curved, which is typical of ultra-wides, as it helps keep the edges of the display within view. Although some image professionals may not like curvature as it slightly distorts the image near the edges. The resolution comes in at 3440 by 1440, which gives it a pixel density similar to 27 inch Quad HD displays. This means text will still look clear enough for most people, but it won't be as fine as the 4K display we just looked at. The monitor has somewhat limited ergonomics, but has decent height and tilt ranges, which is enough for most people. Like all monitors on this list, it features a vase amount if you already have your own solution. The peak brightness of the display is pretty good and has decent reflection handling, so it'll work well for most environments. This monitor is using LG's Nano IPS panel, which has great response times and a wide color gamut, but poor contrast, as you can see from our measurements. The viewing angles are decent, and the horizontal viewing angles are helped thanks to the curvature of the display. Out of the box, it has an impressive color accuracy in the sRGB mode and a wide gamut for those who prefer the more saturated look. On top of its good office use, this monitor is also great for gaming. It can overclock up to 160 Hz, and it has a very fast response time throughout the entire refresh rate range. It also supports VRR and has low input lag. For ports, it has one display port, two HDMIs, an audio out, and a USB hub. 
but no USB-C, unfortunately. It also doesn't support picture-in-picture -picture or picture-by-picture -picture mode like others on this list. If you want features like USB-C and picture-by-picture -picture and an ultra-wide, then check out the LG 38WN95C-W. This is a no-compromise monitor that offers the ultimate in productivity. It has a 3840 by 1600 resolution with a massive 38-inch screen size, display HDR 600, a 144Hz refresh rate, and overall great picture quality. On top of that, it supports USB-C and Thunderbolt 3, which allows for a variety of connectivity options. That said, you'll be paying top dollar for all of this, so only consider it if price isn't a concern to you. If price is a concern, then another notable mention is the LG 34 GK950F-B. It's quite similar to our main ultrawide pick, but an older model and a bit cheaper too. If it's still available in your region, then it's definitely worth considering. If you're looking for a great monitor that can double as a media creation tool during the day and an awesome gaming beast at night, then look no further than the Gigabyte M27Q. The M27Q is a feature-packed monitor that offers a lot for office users and gamers alike. It's a 27-inch Quad HD monitor, which is the sweet spot for many users, as text will appear sharp without having to do any scaling on the OS. That is, in most cases. The M27Q is using a BGR panel, so the subpixels are aligned from left to right as blue, green, red, instead of red, green, blue, like most other displays. This can cause text clarity issues with software that expects the red, green, blue layout. There are some solutions to mitigate this, but each one comes at a cost. We're currently investigating these solutions, and we'll talk more on them in our upcoming video review on the M27Q. BGR text clarity is a polarizing issue for many users. Some hate it, and others don't even notice it. So if you're not sure where you stand, make sure to check out our video when it drops. Moving on, the M27Q has a high refresh rate of 170 hertz, which is sure to be appreciated by any gamer. The ergonomics aren't that robust, but it still has the necessities, being height and tilt adjustment. The build quality is overall good, and the gamer aesthetic isn't very aggressive, so it won't stand out against the rest of your office setup. For picture quality, the M27Q has mediocre contrast, as expected, and our unit had some backlight bleed, so it's not a great pick for movies in the dark. However, the viewing angles are great, and it gets very bright, so it'll work perfectly fine in a brighter environment. One aspect of this monitor that really stands out is the color accuracy and color gamut. The M27Q has some of the best Adobe RGB coverage of any monitor we've tested, so it's an awesome pick for professionals working within that color space. On top of that, it features an sRGB mode that clamps the color space very well, so you can also enjoy a very accurate image if working within that color space. On top of its office prowess, this thing can game thanks to its high refresh rate, low response time, and low input lag. It also has variable refresh rate and black frame insertion, which are great features for gaming enthusiasts. Keep in mind, you'll want to use a display port to get the most out of it, as an HDMI port will only go up to 144 Hz at its native resolution. Speaking of ports, Another standout feature of this monitor is the KVM switch. KVM stands for keyboard, video, and mouse, and a KVM switch lets you use two devices with one set of peripherals. This is great for professionals like a developer who often need multiple machines to test their code on. You can learn more about how it works in our full review here. If you want a great office monitor that delivers on all the essentials without breaking the budget, then consider the ASUS ProArt PA278QV. It's a monitor that's geared towards color professionals working within the sRGB color space, but it also just makes a great overall office monitor. It sits at the sweet spot of 27 inches in Quad HD, so there's plenty of screen real estate and text looks sharp. The stand has the best ergonomics we've tested and should be able to virtually accommodate anyone's needs. The design of the monitor is sleek and professional and is sure to accentuate any office setup. There are etchings along the bottom bezel that act as a ruler, which can be useful depending on your workflow. Overall, the picture quality on the ASUS is pretty great with no major flaws. It gets very bright and has good reflection handling, so you'll have no problem using it in a room with lots of natural sunlight. The contrast is passable and the black uniformity is unremarkable, so it won't be an ideal choice for darkroom performance like the rest of the picks in this lineup. However, the viewing angles are excellent, some of the best we've measured, which is important for color professionals. It also has pretty good color accuracy out of the box, although our testing measured slightly worse results than the calibration report it came with. This isn't a deal breaker though, as most color professionals will have their own calibration hardware nearby. This monitor only covers the sRGB color gamut and doesn't support HDR, 
which again is not a big deal for its intended use case. Interestingly enough, this monitor can actually game decently well, as it can do 75 Hz, has pretty good response times, and a low input lag. It also supports variable refresh rate and black frame insertion, although the latter only works at 75 Hz and it has significant crosstalk. The monitor has an array of connections, including one display port, one HDMI, a DVI port, four USBs, and an audio out. The OSD also has features that many professionals will appreciate, such as a screen ruler, a grid alignment tool, and a virtual scale for previewing documents in their actual size before printing. Overall, given the price and performance of this monitor, it should be on anyone's list, regardless of their budget. So what do you think of our picks, and which one are you thinking about getting? Let us know below. Also, we're currently hiring in our offices in Montreal for various positions. So if you want to help people find the best products for their needs, have a look at our careers page. As always, you can check out all of our measurements on our website. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel or become an insider on the website for access to our latest results first. So that's it. Thanks for watching and see you next time.